हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस एक्साइटिंग जावा फुल स्टैक वेब डेवलपमेंट कोर्स विथ माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर इन दिस कोर्स विल बी बिल्डिंग अ फुल स्टैक सलून अपॉइंटमेंट बुकिंग एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच यूजिंग स्प्रिंग बूट रिएक्ट एंड माई एस This course is designed not only to boost your coding skill but also to give you hands-on experience in modern microservice architecture. For full course, you can check out link given in the description. Now let me tell you why this course is so important for you. As a Java full stack developer, having a enterprise level microservice project in your resume will make you stand out from the competition. and showcase your expertise in building enterprise level application it is a skill set that recruiters actively looking for and this course is your chance to learn it now let's see what are the technologies you will learn from this course so you will learn how you can create apis in spring boot then designing and implementing microservice architecture for scalable and maintainable application setting up an api gateway to handle all your service requests seamlessly using eureka server for service discovery and registration also you will learn to implement fan client for clean and efficient service to service communication okay fan client is used to communicate between uh microservices so that one microservice can communicate with the other microservice now developing event driven microservice using rabbit mq for asynchronous communication sending real time notification to user through web socket okay yes guys we are going to use web socket as well then integrating key clock for robust authentication and authorization by using key clock will uh, secure our microservices then we are going to use docker as well to dockerizing your microservices for easy development and containerization then let's see the front end technology we are going to use react for building dynamic user interface also tailwin css for beautiful and custom design redux for efficient uh, state management so redux is a third party state management library okay we are going to use in this project then material ui also we are going to use formic to handle forms now let's see the live demo of our project by the end of this course you will have this major java full stack project with microservice architecture this is the home page of our project user can search saloon by their city name also they can see all the listed saloon here then on the top uh, we have a become partner button by clicking on that saloon owner can register their saloon on our platform also we have notification button when i click on that button i can see all my notification of bookings and by clicking on any notification i can mark that notification as a read you can see when notification will mark as a read its color been changed from gray to white now I can see all my bookings as well by uh, going to this my booking tab. Okay, here I can see all my previous booking and my booking history. This is the saloon name. Uh, in this saloon, my booking is, and uh, this is the service name for this service. I have booked the appointment, and this is the time and date. So on this date, I have an appointment in this saloon, and uh, this is the time. Like on this time, I have booked the appointment in this saloon, and here I can see the total price of my booking. Ah, uh, in the last booking, guys, here you can see I have a ah uh, three or ah uh, four 
services okay so i have booked this appointment for four services haircut facial massage and hair coloring according that you can see the price as well okay time and date and also guys by clicking on this cancel button i can cancel this appointment as well see this is the cancelled when i click on cancel this appointment will get cancel and uh, changes will reflected same in saloon dashboard as well so let me show you the saloon dashboard this is my saloon dashboard and when i go to booking you can see this two bookings got cancelled okay here guys saloon owner can see all this booking all the booking for his saloon and he can check the customer like on which customer have the booking and on which time and date have a booking the price and also he can change check the status as well okay now let's go to a uh, customer side again and uh, see how you can book the appointment so for that user need to click on any their favorite saloon when i click it will be redirect to the saloon booking uh, detail uh, saloon booking sorry saloon detail page and uh, here i can check all the saloon details like saloon name or uh, timing and all the services provided by saloon so in the left side i can see the category of saloon like haircut so when i click on haircut you can see all the services regarding hair haircut when i click on hair coloring i can see the hair coloring regarding services then facial and massage as well when i click on all i'll be able to see all the services and to book this service first i need to add into the card so let's click on add card and you can see now in my card i have one service i can add multiple as well and uh, i can remove as well okay let's add this again and go to book now then guys here uh in the left hand side i will see the uh slots which are already booked okay i cannot choose this slot if i will choose that slot let's see what happen uh let's uh uh choose the date then uh, let's choose uh, this first slot time that is nothing but 11 am so what will happen if i choose 11 am and if i click on book you will be see the error slot not available choose different time okay and uh, when i choose a different time or different date see now uh, for date 21 all the slots are available that means you can choose any time on uh, 21st and when i click on the book it will uh, redirect me to the payment page and once i made my payment booking got success okay now let's go to saloon dashboard and uh, see all the details so inside saloon dashboard uh i can see first total revenue chart okay then uh, below i can uh, see the booking chart and uh, also in right side hand i can see all my earnings total booking total refund and cancel booking as well and inside booking table as i show you already the all the bookings uh you can see and see guys this is the current booking which i have created and the status of it is pending because i haven't done the payment process okay that's why the uh, status is pending but once i uh, finish my payment process the status will be confirmed okay then uh, services okay here guys uh, i can manage this services like i can update the service name price and delete services according my needs also saloon owner can add services and also he can add the category as well from here okay like uh, uh, currently i have a haircut hair coloring but pedicure manicure i don't have so i can add that category as well if i want to provide that service in my saloon then also uh, as a saloon owner i can see my payment so 
this is my total payment okay and i can check my transaction as well like this uh, user have made a booking on my salon and made a transaction then as a salon owner i can see all my uh, notification so once the booking got confirm uh, user that means customer and salon owner both will get notification in real time all right and uh, inside account i can check my uh, salon details also and uh, by clicking on this logout i can log out myself now let's see who is this course for what is the pre request is for this course and what are the technologies you should know in order to follow this course so this course is perfect for you guys if you have a basic understanding of javascript html css and java okay that's it and of course you should have a desire to take your full stack development skill to the next level so you should have this pre request is in order to follow this course now why this project is matter for you why you should build this a salon appointment booking project so guys this salon appointment booking application is not only practical but also a real world project that showcase modern development practice whether you are building it for your portfolio learning microservice or starting your journey into full stack development this course has got you covered now let's set up our environment and install all the tools which are required to follow this course so of course guys as a java developer you need to install a java in your local machine open jdk and how you can do that just uh, search for oracle this is the official website of java oracle java okay go to first website and click on downloads there you go download java okay from here you need to choose window and if you are on mac then you can choose mac but i am on window so i will choose the window then here you will get three option okay and i'll rec uh, recommend to choose this uh, x64 installer which is uh, 205 mb okay uh, click on this and you will be able to download java in your machine now our next step uh, next uh, tool is mysql how you can install mysql just uh, search for mysql okay go to downloads and uh, here go to this mysql community downloads and mysql installer for windows click on that and uh, this is the latest version of mysql and uh, microsoft windows and you need to choose this 3065 mb okay click on the inst uh, download then install now our uh, third tool and technology is node js so node js we need for uh, react so let's search for node js as well okay click on download and uh, here you can see downloader uh, window installer installer you can directly uh, click on that and uh, this is the our latest table version uh, 22.13 so yeah you can download this version then we have vs code so simply search for vs code guys this all tools are free okay so you don't need to pay anything for this uh, this is the visual studio code here we have option for uh, uh, window linux and mac okay now intellij idea let's search for intellij idea as well intellij idea okay click on the download and uh, here guys you will have uh, two option uh, this is the ultimate version and if you go down here you will have a community edition as well 
uh, but if you want the ultimate version i have a promo code code with josh okay use this promo code and by clicking on this link from here uh, you will uh, here you will use that promo code and you will get a product link or key for your uh, intelligent idea so you will be able to get three month free access of intelligent idea ultimate and this is in a four hour course okay and also you don't need to provide any credit card or debit card credential in order to take this three month free subscription all right now uh that's it for our tools and technology so let's get ready to dive into the world of full stack development microservice and uh, scalable application so yeah let's learn build and grow together <laughs>